Hey friends, Randy Moretis here with some mental health and wellness coaching for you to help you be the healthiest, most successful version of yourself. You know, there's so much uh, stress going on around us all day, every day, uh, going on in our communities, our neighborhoods, and the world. And so uh, I want to set you up for success to bring your best self to whatever you have to deal with every day. And today's tip is an acronym you may have heard of before, HALT, H-A-L-T. And it stands for Hungry, Angry, Lonely, Tired. And the idea is you don't want to let yourself get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. Because if you do, you're much more likely to experience some anxiety or depression or fear of recovery. You could uh, have a relapse. Uh, you could end up saying something that you regret later. And so uh, the H stands for hungry. So we want to make sure we don't let ourselves get too hungry. And we do that by being prepared food planning, food prepping, shopping, those things are important. It's good to have healthy snacks on hand and I challenge you to not go more than a few hours without having some some protein or maybe some fruit and vegetables, uh, something to keep your blood sugar stable so you can stay focused and it keeps your mood more stable. So uh, please do that. Uh, the A stands for angry and Boy, uh, for me, if I get too hungry, I can get hangry. So the two kind of blend together. And uh, if you do find yourself getting angry, and it's okay to have anger sometimes. There's something called righteous anger. It's okay to be angry at things that are injustice or wrong. And so if you are angry, don't stuff it down. Whenever we stuff things down, they always come out some negative way eventually. And so process your anger by sharing it with a safe friend, journaling about it, praying about it talking to a therapist, a counselor, a coach, a pastor, someone that you trust, but don't keep it inside. You got to get it out. You got to process it. Okay. So don't let yourself get too hungry. Don't get too angry. And the third one is lonely. You don't want to get too lonely. And in this age of uh, uh, social distancing, or actually I prefer the phrase physical distancing, that's a tough one, but please do your best. Even now during the pandemic, uh, stay connected. Zoom phone call, FaceTime, text, whatever you can do, stay connected to your, your tribe. I, I really think it's wise for us all of us, all of us to have a healthy tribe of, of trusted, safe friends. So stay connected to your tribe. And if you don't have one, start developing one. I think that would be a great next step for you. So you don't want to get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, and you don't want to get too tired. When you get too tired, oh, you say things that you don't mean, uh, you make mistakes, you know, they did a study on um, fighter pilots that showed that just one hour sleep a night difference can make all the difference in life or death for these fighter pilots. So please try to get seven or eight hours sleep a night. It's great to have a consistent bedtime and a consistent wake up time. Uh, so you have your sleep rhythms down and that's good for your health. So my friends, don't get too hungry. Don't get too angry. Don't get too lonely and don't get too tired. Okay, take care of yourself. You're worth it. Thank you for watching and please share this with someone who you think might benefit from it.